The Penny Arcade Expo has become the primary gaming event in the world, expanding to four separate events in two countries. Today, a fifth PAX was announced, but this one is more than a little different. The new event is called PAX Unplugged and, as the name implies, it won't include a single video game. Instead, the event will be focused on all the non-electronic sorts of games including board games, card games, and tabletop RPGs. PAX Unplugged will take place in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania from November 17th to 19th. The announcement came as PAX South, the newest PAX event, got underway from San Antonio, Texas. The rest of the setup will apparently look like other PAX events as tournaments, panels, and concerts will also be included. According to IGN, board games will continue to appear at all other PAX events, but organizers wanted to draw special attention to them by giving them their own space as well. While PAX, like the Penny Arcade comics that spawned it, have always primarily focused on digital gaming, tabletop games have always been part of the equation. In fact, at PAX South, where fewer AAA video game developers have appeared in previous years, tabletop games have picked up the slack by having a more noticeable presence. While the major video game releases have always been a primary focus at PAX East and PAX West, one of the most popular events in recent years has been the live Dungeons and Dragons game that's put on by Penny Arcade creators Jerry Holkins and Mike Grahulik, along with fellow comic artist Scott Kurtz and Wizards of the Coast's Chris Perkins. There's no mention if the Acquisitions Incorporated team will be making an appearance at PAX Unplugged, but considering the show's focus, it's certainly likely. Passes for PAX Unplugged are not currently available but you can make hotel reservations for the event which will be held at the Philadelphia Convention Center and sign up on a mailing list to be made aware when passes do go on sale. PAX Unplugged is probably located far enough away, in both time and geography, that it won't be viewed as major competition for Gen Con, the largest tabletop gaming convention in North America. If anything, it may give fans of that event another place to meet up later in the year. Will you be checking out PAX Unplugged this year? Let us know in the comments below.